hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so if you're new hello and if you're not new welcome Alrighty, so guys i have a, another video here that i'm hopefully getting to film today i just i'm filming this video right after the other one the, the one that you saw i think probably the day before today <laughs> the day before you're seeing this video oh my gosh i'm so sorry what a mess <clears throat> so we just dropped my son at school um and now i'm gonna try to film this one real quick but real quick because i have things to do i have mr charlie here look how adorable and i have one of my um jelly cat polar bears with two babies look how cute is that you guys like oh my gosh and this one let me show you this one this is my latest addition <laughs> one of my latest additions to my plush collection look how cute is that that's so cute oh my gosh his his original name is mckay but i'm not sure what i'm gonna name him but i don't know a lot of times i don't change the names so i just leave the name that the company gives them so anyways so this video is title or something like that but five names that i love but i will never use for my doll for my ribbon ribbon dolls and let me go with the five names and explain kind of why but <laughs> we'll see and i would like to know in the comments if you want to leave me a comment below and tell me if you're kind of like me that when a certain name reminds you of someone you don't quite like you don't click with then sometimes you like the name but ah, it reminds you of that person or or you know yeah so anyway okay so number one is isabella i love the name isabella it's a beautiful name it's one of my favorite names but it happens to be the name of uh, one of the daughters of someone in my family not my close close direct family but you know one of those second third cousins that you have that you hardly ever see um i don't know i'm not gonna get into much detail but basically i mean it's not that i oh gosh i you know hate my cousin or anything like that not at all but uh growing up i remember she's almost my age she's maybe a couple of years older than me and i remember growing up um my parents especially my dad a lot of times he would kind of like compare me to her or like he wanted me to be like her um you know and and, and i don't know that would kind of bother me it would bother me a lot actually um because you know like hey we all like different stuff some people like sports some people don't like sports or some people like certain sports and some people don't and that's okay and I always felt like that pressure, you know, that uh, like he wanted me to be like her and I don't like that. And so one of her daughters, that's the name, Isabella. Um, of course, obviously, you know, I have nothing against uh, the, the little girls. Like, oh my God, little girls. Okay, they're not so little now. But anyways, you know what I mean? I have nothing, nothing, nothing against them. And again, I mean, it's not that I, oh gosh, I couldn't have a coffee with my cousin. No, 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 not at all. Not at all. Um, but, you know again and and also like we never really clicked like i also find it funny that like she was more friends with my sister than me my sister is way older than me my sister is like 14 years older than me and she seemed to like her better than me i'm like why like you know and stuff like that but i'm not gonna get into details but yeah that's <laughs> number one isabella um again beautiful name though but number two Jonathan, I love the name Jonathan, but it is the name of someone from my past. And someone from my past, I'm talking about, uh, you know, a romantic relationship, you could say. Uh, yeah, and I am sorry, but, you know, I don't think I would ever name it all with that name because even though, don't get me wrong, I had a blast, I had a great time uh, with that person, with that guy, like... <laughs> But I don't know, um, sometimes I even regret really meeting him or like spending any time with him because I feel, I feel like I wasted some of my most precious years, you know, of my early 20s. And maybe if I had done things differently, my life would have been different. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know. It's hard to explain, guys. And again, I don't want to get too personal. But um, yeah, it's a pity because I love the name. It's a, it's a pretty, it's a beautiful name. But for boy <clears throat> but again it does reminds me of my ex so no <laughs> no 
Number three, Sophia. I love this name, Sophia. I love the name Sophia. But again, and this goes, this is kind of similar. Actually, you're going to see that almost all the names except one, I would say, is because they remind me of someone that I don't quite like, that I, you know, things went bad or we never got along or, you know, stuff like that. Um, Sophia. So that's the name of the daughter of a lady that used to work with me, a girl, but back then we were very young. They used to work with me um, on one of my first J-1 visas here in the U.S. when I was still in college and stuff. And I, I don't know. I mean, I don't talk to her anymore. But back, back in the day, that woman did stuff that you're not supposed to do, like to get far, to get places. Again, I'm not going to go into details. I just don't like that kind of people. You know, those people that... They don't care if they hurt somebody just to get what they want and to like scale, you know, on, on the ladder of, you know, yeah, uh, to like do better in life. But you have when you have to like hurt other people's feelings and, and, and cheat on people, you know, to like get where you want to get. I don't think that's ethical. I don't think that's right. Um, and yeah, so again, so even though I love that name. Um, you know, and again, I have nothing against, you know, her kids. Her kids are completely innocent, obviously. Um, I don't think I would use a name. I don't think so, even though I love it, but I don't think so. Then the next name is, uh, Nicholas or Nick. I love that name. And when I was a teenage girl, I was a big fan of the Backstreet Boys. You guys remember the Backstreet Boys? Okay. So you guys know one of them was Nick Carter. He was, I think he was the youngest of, of the five. Um, and he was my favorite. <laughs> I had a crush on him, big time. But, you know, that was a long time ago, of course. And, you know, you didn't think, the, you didn't know the things you know now. And then, um, you guys remember when one of his younger siblings passed away. I think it was last year. Last year or the year before maybe right right after the new year like i can i don't remember now i'm sorry but i think it was like december 2022 so yeah so it was it wasn't this past year that just we finished but the year before um you know and <clears throat> i kind of started reading you know articles about it and stuff and i don't know it just seems like again i don't know if i should talk because i don't know exactly how things were what happened but i think like three of Nick's siblings died from either overdoses or like drug issues or stuff like that. I mean, um, it makes me very sad. Um, and, and I, I even like, uh, especially like, um, the, the one, like I said, the one that passed away, um, I think it was, like I said, December 2022, I was like, oh my gosh, like I remember when he was a little boy and I even, I even had one of his CDs, you guys, because I, I don't know if you remember, if you're a millennial, like if you're in your late 30s or maybe 40 like me, you you probably remember the Backstreet Boys and stuff and, you know, how big they were and stuff. And you guys remember that Aaron, he also released um, an album or two, I, I think just one. I don't think he did. I don't think he was successful, obviously, as like his brother. Um, but I do remember that he, he released an album and I had it. <laughs> it's so funny. Like I, I think of, I mean, I, I'm so funny. I, I don't want to, ah, uh, that sounded weird, but no, really, I just think about like, gosh, how little he was and stuff. And, and again, and then I started reading things that, oh, you know, the parents would, um, how can I say like, um, wanting to get their money, the money they were making, you know, sometimes when, when kids are famous, and the parents like take over their finances and, and they want to, you know, keep the money they make and stuff. And I don't know exactly how things were, but, um, and now another one of his siblings passed away. Um, they don't know yet exactly, but I think they said that she did get charges for, uh, to ha for having cocaine with her or something. I don't know, guys. I don't want to get into that. Uh, and I think another one of his sisters, which I think the name was Leslie, like me, uh, also passed away. And I think it was drug re related issues, I believe. So, uh, oh, and wait a minute, because I'm not done yet. I mean, that's one thing. But 
I also read somewhere that it seems there was some girl pressing charges against Nick Cutter saying that um, she was autistic or something and he abused her. But again, I, this is all allegedly. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if, if they did a, you know, like a court, like a hearing, like, a, you know, all that, like a trial or all that. I don't even know. I am not, you know, I'm way past my stage with Backstreet Boys and stuff, like, so I don't even know what they're up to. I guess they have their solo careers now. I don't know. Again, I don't know. I don't know what they're up to. Uh, I think they went on a tour maybe a year ago or so, right? And they go together, like, they, you know. But anyways, uh, so that name, even though I love the name, um, and for the longest time, when, especially when, it, when, I, when I was a big fan of his, um, I used to love that name. Um, and... That was even a name that I used to consider to name my, like, my children. Like, if I had a boy, obviously, I didn't end up naming my son that. But anyways, you know what I mean? Because um, it's just because of the fact that now, with everything that happened to his siblings, and then after reading that thing about supposedly some charges that somebody, which we don't know if it's true or not. I mean, you know, you know how things are. We don't know. But again... Is when I think about that name now, I think about all that. And I don't think that's a name that I would use for my dolls. And the next one and the last one, this one is simple. This was no really explanation very much. It's Olivia. I love the name Olivia. It's a beautiful name. I know it's one of the most popular names, just like Lucas, like my son. But I, um, I don't think I would use it just because I think it's too popular and i know it's funny i say that because again <clears throat> I, I i'm sure if i go and check the the top 10 names for boys and girls probably my son's name is still on the list for the top 10 so i probably shouldn't even be saying this but i don't know i just know too many people that they name their kids olivia or i see it everywhere and uh i think i don't like extremely unique names that's not the case for the most part, but uh, but I also don't like a name, I think that it's so popular, you know, like so, 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 so popular, everybody uses, or so many people use, you know what I mean. Anyways, okay guys, I'm gonna get going here, I'm sorry for the rumble, um, as always I intend to make my videos five minutes, and then they end up being almost 13 now. So thank you for watching, thank you for listening, um, and yeah, feel free to leave me a comment down below, of the five names that you love but you wouldn't use and why if you want you don't have to actually say why just you can put the names and you know we can all share and, and see what names they are all right guys so i'm gonna go and thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you guys on my next video bye guys